Super Rugby Power Rankings, folks. Most recent round was a pretty good one for the New Zealand teams, you'd have to say. Plus the Drua getting the win in the All-Pacific Clash. But anyway, we're going to rank the 12 teams from bottom to top based on kind of current form. And um, it's fairly kind of similarly reflected in the table, but you guys can let me know your thoughts on, um, on where these teams are at and uh, who should be higher and who should be a bit lower. New winner in terms of being in the bottom spot, unfortunately, is Moana Pacifica. Remember, these guys have still got a game in hand against the Force, but they did lose to the Drua, so I've got them down a couple of spots. It's been a tough first season for them. I keep saying it, it couldn't have been much more disrupted, but there we go, that's what it is. Uh, I do think this year is going to be a building year. They lost at a neutral venue, essentially, over in Australia to the Drua, they would have liked to gotten a bit closer, but not to be. Um, they've still got a few games left this season to make up, but um, away to the Reds, who are in a bit of a rut, might be an opportunity, or it might be a chance where the Rebels kind of, Rebels, the Reds bounce back, we'll kind of have to wait and see. Uh, the Force, I've still got an 11th, unfortunately for them, it was um, not their best day at the office. The Highlanders aren't the best team in New Zealand, but they looked like it when they played the Force. The Force were kind of run riot, unfortunately for them. I um, mean, it's good news for the Highlanders. The Highlanders are finding a rich vein of form at the right end of the season. But for the Force, some kind of early promise this season has uh, seemingly petered out. That may be the fact that they are changing coach at the end of the season and some of the guys are already kind of checked out. I wouldn't like to think so, but you never know what's going on behind the scenes. So unfortunately for them, it's another loss. The Drua did get their second win of the season, or we... Kind of got to keep into context. It was over the bottom side on the table, Moana Pacifica, but still credit to them. I kind of counted it as a neutral venue because they weren't really at home. It was a home away from home in Western Sydney. But yeah, went over Moana Pacifica. Um, so I've got them up. Uh, they are away to the Crusaders next. I forgot to mention the Force are away to the Chiefs. So all these sides are away next week. So well, this week. So um, yeah, maybe they're all going to be underdogs basically going into the next round and uh rounding out the bottom row are the melbourne rebels valiant effort from the rebels but not quite enough to get a win over the chiefs i thought they would get beaten by more based on what we saw from the rebels the week before but they came close at home but still they didn't quite get it done so um yeah unfortunate for them but maybe some encouraging signs i still think the defense needs a whole lot of fixing because it's the worst in the comp uh away to the hurricanes next for them so all four teams on the road in the next round reds reds i have got an eighth the reds are down a spot the reds are in a, a bad a bad run of form they got hiding by the blues yeah if you're either the best or the second best team in australia coming up against the blues albeit away from home you still shouldn't be getting beaten by what was it, like 27 points or something it was mad the blues are in, in good form for sure, but man, can't be doing that. The Reds, I mean, they are in seventh on the table. I've got them eighth here because they, what is that, four losses in a row now? Yeah, they're in a rut and they need to break out of it. But as I said, they do have Moana Pacifica next. So if there's a chance to get some form back into some guys before the playoffs, maybe that's the game to do it. Speaking of form, the Highlanders, as I mentioned earlier, are coming into... A good vein of form. Remember they went away to Fiji and just managed to get a win. But that win, you know, with your psychology, some guys get some confidence. It's a bit of momentum, hopefully for the uh, for the Highlanders. Um, yeah, they're going to be peaking at the right time. They're going to end up, if they finish eighth, playing whoever finishes first. I forget to look at the table, but um, the Landers are in eighth at the moment. So... That might be a little bit of a rude awakening for whoever finishes top of the log. You'd maybe rather play the seventh team at the moment rather than play a sharp Highlander side, but we will kind of have to wait and see. They are home to the Waratahs next. Speaking of the Waratahs, another one that's kind of a valiant effort in front of a cracking home crowd, but not enough to get the job done against the Hurricanes. So down two spots for the Tars. It was a good test for them, and they didn't, as I said, they didn't disgrace themselves. But you need to be winning. And they didn't quite get that done. So it's uh, it's down for them. Whereas the Hurricanes decide to beat them. They are up a spot. 
Um, still not 100% convinced by the Canes, but the fact that they just seem to be able to come back from from any deficit uh, is at least kind of partially encouraging. Obviously, you would rather go out and start the game well, dominate from start to finish, rather than leaving yourself with a mission to do, but at least you know the guys, um, you know, the shirt means enough for them to, to want to keep fighting all the way to the 80. So, yeah, fifth place for them. Uh, the Chiefs have also got back up into the top row this week. Although they did struggle. Another one where you got to give them a bit of credit for fighting through to the 80. They probably could have put the Rebels away a couple of times, but they didn't, and the Rebels did well to get back into the game. So still not convinced by the Chiefs. They've got the force at home this week, so maybe a chance for them to really kind of show us that they can take it up a gear. Give the force a wee hiding, or will they struggle two weeks in a row? We'll kind of have to wait and see. Uh, Brumbies, I've got down a spot. They were all the way up to second at one point, but then they lost it home to the Crusaders. There's certainly no disgrace in losing to the Crusaders, but the Brumbies had gone on a good run against the Kiwi teams, and at home, you thought, if this is the time for them to break their drought against the Crusaders, this is the time to get it done. Not to be. They do have a, a second chance against the top New Zealand team because they got the Blues next, which should be a cracker, and they're at home. But, um, yeah, they, they certainly couldn't couldn't oust the Crusaders, who I have got in second. The Crusaders are in second. Um, big win for them. I mean, fairly big on the score, but not a massive blowout, but comfortable enough over the Brumbies. That was um, a pretty... I mean, they were the favourites, I think, but not by a heck of a lot, right? It was supposed to be a tight game, so maybe the Crusaders are just starting to peak at the right time. So I've got them one spot higher here than they are on the actual table. They're in third on the table, but I've got them second on the power rankings. So only the Blues, I mentioned the Blues, played the Reds. The Reds have been in a bad run of form. Was this the week for the Reds to bounce back? No. The Blues put in some of the slickest play I've seen the Blues rugby team play for a very long time. Um, it's a test for them to go away to Canberra next, but I've got them in the same spot they've been in for several weeks now. Uh, every week that goes on, they're looking less and less like pretenders and more like the real deal. Um, but as I said, we're getting to the business end of the season. And if they end up playing the Highlanders in a quarterfinal, it would still be a pretty tight game, I would imagine. But anyway... You guys let me know your thoughts. How would you be ranking the Super Rugby teams at the moment? I do think there's a bit of a gulf legit between these bottom four teams and the teams above. Uh, and I think that's reflected on the table as well. As I mentioned, the Highlanders are kind of coming right at the right time. Whereas the Reds are seemingly kind of just snowballing into a run of defeats. But anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.